October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we've been sharing important stories on the survivors and their brave battles. Well, tonight, we have another story for you. A wife and mother of five diagnosed at the start of this pandemic. Lindsay Buckingham has more. At the end of March, the world was just starting to change forever, and so was Hinkley native Rita Vitko's life. I had gone for my mammogram, and they said, hey, you need to come back, and that's not really something odd for me. I usually have to go for that second mammogram. This time, there was something odd. A biopsy at Metro Health Medical Center confirmed the 55-year-old mother of five had breast cancer, stage three. Completely completely shocked. I couldn't even tell you how many nights I thought, I can't not not be here for my kids. And in such a time where not only were you stunned to hear that right. you had cancer, you're finding out this news in the middle of a global pandemic. They did set the parameters for like, this is serious and you need to take it serious as a person that is now diagnosed with cancer. For Rita, that meant going it alone at treatment in the fight of her life. For five months, her husband Mark would drive her there, then watch his wife walk into the unknown. I think that was difficult for him, very difficult for him. And then my kids, you know, bless their hearts. I almost feel like this whole thing with COVID has robbed them of a little bit of the healing part because that's part of the process, watching someone you love go through and come out on the other end in a positive way. A world of uncertainty, dedicated frontline workers navigating for the first time. There was some degree of anxiety as to am I exposing myself more? I mean, I know many of us, even in terms of, you know, I changed the way that I dressed. I would come into work and change into scrubs and not take those clothes home. I think we had to do a lot of just reassurance for patients that we were taking all of the precautions to keep them safe. I'm not a number. I, you know, they call me by my first name. After surgeries and other treatment, a triumphant moment, the end of chemo, and one of the scariest times of her life. I couldn't tell them thank you enough. I couldn't express how they have allowed me to have so much peace. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News.